sitting in the sun. <laughs> it's so warm. It is seriously the nicest day out ever. I'm so happy because it's been raining and cold for the past like three days. I'm going to go to the grocery store because there's some stuff that I need. So I was thinking, maybe you want to come with me. I don't know. If you don't want to come with me, you can exit the video now. But if you do want to come with me, then keep watching. So my phone ran out of storage while I was actually in the grocery store, so I'm just going to show you everything that I got now. In my last grocery haul video, I mostly had produce and I didn't show any of the like packaged items that I buy really. Um, and I also showed in that video how I can often get a lot of things like 50% off because they're overripe or they're like almost bad or whatever. So. Um, I didn't get any produce today because we just got some on the weekend and we still have a bunch of it, but I did, I got like a couple things, but I'll just go through. Just got some brown rice pasta and then some of these um, high fiber white pastas. And then I got some bulk nutritional yeast. That, I got some buckwheat flour to make some new recipes. I got this hoisin sauce, which is, I showed this in my hoisin tofu video, but suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And this one also says that, so this is a chow mein stir fry sauce. I've never tried this one, but I just wanted to try it out. And then I got some plum sauce for spring rolls and stuff because we are out. And I got a little can of um, coconut milk, tomato, cucumber romaine hearts, some Gaia cheddar oops, style shreds, I'm going to make mac and cheese, I got these udon noodles, these are my favorite, they're just like flour, water, salt, and then I got these rice stick noodles, they're like super super thin, whereas these ones are like more wide I guess, and then I just got my also favorite um, buckwheat soba noodles. Oh, and I don't think I showed this. I got this freaking huge ass bag of garam masala because I've been wanting to try it and that is the only size that my store had. So it was actually a good price. It wasn't super expensive at all. So I just got the whole bag. So if you guys know of any recipes that can use up some garam masala, hopefully I like the flavor of it because I've never gotten it before. Um, please leave a comment below and tell me what you do with garam masala. I'm thinking I'm just gonna make like, you know, curries and stuff, but I'll be. I can definitely do more of these like grocery haul videos if you want. It's a lot of noodles, I know. But yeah, okay, I will see you later. Bye.